Hello everyone, uh, Tatsu here, and uh, BT8 uh, <laughs> reveals have been going on in Japan uh, for the Japanese uh, Digimon Trading Card game recently, and um, a few cards uh, became of particular interest to me after I realized we could make a six attack combo out of just one stack in the stack. Yeah, so I thought I might as well show that off. I'm not sure about how consistent it is, uh, but you can get it off. It, it's, a, it's a card combo you can actually do. Um, and it's not even that hard. You only need five memory during one turn to do it. So, let's get started. Um, so starting off, for our eggs, we're running four Demi Vmon and one Upamon. Um, this is a combo deck, so we need to draw our pieces really consistently and really reliably. Uh, so just having those as our eggs is really nice. Um, we're running four of the starter deck of Emon. This is the one that uh, on play, you reveal top three, and you add a free type. Pretty much every Digimon in this deck is a free type. Uh, all the ones we want to be searching for are anyway. So this is just really, really nice, especially alongside the uh, one they just showed off in the set. Uh... This is the top four Vemon that searches for um, dual color cards that have blue, which is just, um, it's just really nice to have these two searches to help us search our pieces. Um, especially, uh, we're also running um, four copies of this Vemon. Uh, we don't actually care if when it, uh, about the fact that it has, uh, we're not really caring about the fact that it has jamming because it has jamming and it can swing any security for free. Uh, we care that it has jamming for our demi Vs, uh, just so we have that uh, draw engine. And finally, we're also running two of this Vmon. When we have a restand during our main phase, uh, we gain a memory, which is just nice to have that extra little bit of memory um, while we're doing our big loop. Oh, well, it's not a loop, is it? It's a, just a big combo. Um, we're running four copies of uh, the jamming X Vmon from EX1 as well. Uh, this is like the most important card in the deck. Uh, it has jamming innately and that actually matters and it also gives jamming to our free type Digimon and our Imperial Dramons. Uh, so yeah it's really fucking important. Uh, we're running three copies of the Stingmon. Um, while you have a blue Digimon in play you can reduce the memory cost to play this card from your hand by one, so it's a three drop level four. Um, that also has the when attacking ability. If you have a blue Digimon in your in play, you get to draw one. So again, you get to draw those pieces. Uh, I decide to run this one over the other X Vmon, um, and run like some other different uh, Stingmon. Uh, they're both free types, that's what's more important here than the fact that they're Stingmon and XVmon. Uh, but yeah, um, this one just, you know, getting that draw is a little more important when, when we have to draw into all our pieces and do stuff. For Koalamon, just because we need blockers, <laughs> um, I don't think there's any deck that really gets away with not running any blockers at all. Maybe Gub? No, I don't know. I don't know, I'd, I'm not paying too much close attention uh, to BT7, so I could be wrong. Maybe there's a ton of decks that aren't running any blockers at all. Who knows? Uh, for Pyildramon and for Dino B, just having the DNA digivol uh, digivolution mechanic is really important for this deck, just in general. Um, being able to go to level 5 for free is a lot more important than what they actually do. Uh, I do prefer Pyeldramon, but the reason we're running Pyeldramon and Dino B is because we desperately need just to go into um, a DNA Digivolve. That's how we want to be getting into our level 5s pretty much every game. Um, we're running Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode. It's our main level 6 for the deck. It's the BT4 one, uh, the BT3 one. Uh, you know it, you love it. Maybe you hate it. Uh, you can evolve into a, uh, you can evolve from a Pyodramon or Dino Beamon, uh for two less memory than you otherwise would. It has jamming, and when Digivolt, all the Digimon with jamming become active. Uh, yeah, so this is really important. 
uh, for the for the deck, um, we're running four copies of the new uh, fighter mode. You get to evolve from dragon mode for two cost, uh, which is just insane. Like, oh my god, it's actually nuts. Um, it has Wendage evolving. Return one of your opponent's Digimon with 10k less, uh, 10k DP or less uh, to their hands. Um, Obviously, I think you discard all the Digivolution sources in that situation, but uh, it doesn't actually say, does it? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about uh, when attacking with this Digimon has a blue Digiv uh If this Digimon has a blue Digivolution card, unsuspend one of your Digimon. If this Digimon has a green Digivolution card, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Um, it doesn't say that it can't just restand itself. So, yeah, that's really fucking huge there. Um, we're running three copies of Davis just because, again, it's another search card in the deck. And we needed a Memory Tamer to go alongside our three copies of Davis and Ken. At the start of our main phase, if you have a blue Digimon, gain one memory. If you have a green Digimon, gain a memory. Um, our setup board for the turn means that we will have a blue and a green so we will get the two memory from that and then during your turn when the Digimon did when your Digimon digivolves into a Digimon that has two or more colors you may suspend this tamer to unsuspend that Digimon cough cough fighter mode uh, and finally we're also running two copies of Hammer Spark just because we need it's it's just free memory it's just free memory like come on <laughs> so I'm gonna quickly just cut to a little board just to show off how the deck would actually perform the combo. Okay, so basically this is how the combo is um, going to work. We, at the start of our turn, we have XVmon and Stingmon already in play. We have our Ken and Davis Tamer in play and our Davis in play to start the turn with 5 memory. And we have to have a uh, dragon mode and a fighter mode in our hand. We don't have to have Pyildramon, it can be Dino Beamon, but Pyildramon is going to give us the six attacks that we need to win the game rather than um, Dino Beamon, which is only going to give us five attacks. But either way, we can still get a really big attack loop going. So we swing with our Jamming uh, XV. If you're brave, you could probably swing with a Stingmon on the Dino Beamon. Uh, instead of the Pyotramon, if you swing with Stingmon, you can still technically get six attacks, but it doesn't really matter. Um, but basically, we're gonna if, are we gonna DNA to evolve into our Pyotramon? So we're gonna put Stingmon in the. St we're gonna evolve into Pyotramon because the the way uh, DNA Digivolution uh, works, you restand the Digimon. Uh, so. We actually get to, yeah. So now this now our Pyodramon has jamming, so we can swing. We can unsuspend itself from its own skill, and we can swing. Then for three memory, we're going to digivolve into uh, our Imperial Dramon Dragon mode. This will restand itself from its own ability uh, of when digivolving you Digimon with jamming become that active. So we've had three swings already. So swing number four. Then with our last two memory for the turn, we're going to evolve into fighter mode. We're going to activate um, Ken and Davis's ability to restand our fighter mode for attack number five. And then through its own skill, we're going to unsuspend it again for attack number six. That's basically how that works, um, whether or not the deck is actually consistent. I actually haven't tested it, <laughs> unlike my last deck profile I uploaded, I did not test this deck. But, I did come up with it. I don't know if anyone else has been talking about this deck, but I've been talking about it with uh, my friends. And it seems cool, and something you might want to look out for in the BT8 format. Maybe I'm dumb and this deck is actually really bad. <laughs> um, but
but I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll see. <laughs> um, so thanks for watching. Uh, give us a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Follow my Twitch and my Twitter in the description. I stream a lot. Bye-bye.